Doing slide turns on a trail looks really, really awesome. But it's not just about the technique about how to slide the bike or how to power out. You need to talk or think about your approach as well. I love doing slide turns on the trail. It looks good, it's a lot of fun, and often it's the best way to get the bike turned around without just wasting too much energy. Before you start thinking about how to slide the bike and how to pivot the bike, you have to have some strategy. And here's what I'm doing. When I'm coming up this particular hill, I'm looking at the very top, and you can see that flat ridge line there behind me. And that flat ridge line tells me it's flat on the other side. I can see the trees and bushes in the distance. That gives me a gap. And also today I'm riding on some really loose rock and a lot of mud it's not sliding real well. Every time I lock up, I'm just kind of burying the back end into the ground. So what I did here is I came up along this inside edge where it had a little bit steeper. I'm adding enough throttle that I can get the back end to lift. The, that suspension decompresses. As it decompresses, I can lock the brake. When it hits the ground, I get a good and solid slide so I can get over uh, as far to a 90 degree slide as possible. Then I can power, uh, power the bike back down the trail. In this kind of environment where I've got some pretty loose, pretty loose rock and mud, I need to get that bike cranked over so the back wheel is light. Not only do I need it light for braking, I need it light for the throttle. That means I have to have this bike cranked over. I turn the handlebars full lock as far as they'll go. If I hesitate and I don't have full lock, the bike's gonna go straight. If I turn it and the bike is upright, when I power out, the bike's either gonna wheelie, because I still have too much weight on the back wheel, and the rake and trail at the front of the bike is constantly trying to make the bike go in a straight line. So you've gotta get this bike leaned over, and you have to get over as far as possible. Now the challenge here is that when you get over too far, <laughs> these are five, 600 pound motorcycles. And it doesn't matter how tall you are, at some point, you're not gonna be able to hold it. When it starts to slide, before it comes to a solid stop and the bike still has some momentum, I need to add that power to get the back of the bike to swing around and continue. All right. Well, that was a silly move. Here goes. Hurrah. Come on, big girl. Let's go for a ride. Traction control off. ABS off. For the DCT, when I do technical riding out here, I prefer to stay in a manual mode so that I get to pick the gear that I want. Oh, fail. If you'd like to see more of what I do, I'd like to invite you to my website, which is brightpacks.com. On my website, not only do I post all of the videos I do and blogs, but also any training that I do, any tours that I conduct, any events that I participate in, both in the US and internationally are posted on there. I'll be in Georgia this year for 2021. There's a few spots left there. Most of the camps in Oregon are already full, but I do have a lot of different events that I do throughout the year. So if you're interested in meeting up with me or doing any of the stuff that I do, you're welcome to check out my website and find those events there. I also offer a podcast. I do this regular twice a month. I do a podcast with actual riders, real riders, sometimes professionals, but mostly just regular people. And the discussions that we bring up are the things that they're interested in, whether it's on-road techniques like trail braking or asking about things that I've done. It can be anything from off-road techniques to just riding gear. And, and the riders get to pick that and make that choice. The other thing that I would like you to check out is on my homepage. I do have a link to my Patreon account. You'll find it down here at the bottom. And if you click on that, that'll allow you to throw some uh, some source uh, resources towards me to help keep this going and fund the podcast and the videos. I have three different tiers at this point, $4 if you just want to help out a little bit, $8 if you'd like to have some coffee or get a really awesome coffee cup. And also I have a fan club level. If you'd like to do more, you're welcome to. There's an option to do a, a custom amount on that as well. 
Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel. Check out my website and stay tuned. I've got some really neat videos still in the hopper that I'm working on and we'll be posting very soon. Okay, not every turn is successful. That's a blooper reel. All right. But well, that was pretty cool looking until that happened. <laughs>